Hello everyone and welcome to another video tutorial. Uh, this time I'm going to look at how to create uh, certificates and provisioning profiles uh, for your iOS applications and specifically how to do that uh, on a Windows computer. Uh, if you want to install uh, your applications onto your device or uh, submit them to the app stores you will need to create uh, these certificates uh, before you do that. So. It can be a little bit tricky, so I'm just going to step through uh, how to do that exactly. Uh, so first, you will have to um, be a part of the iOS developer program. Uh, it costs $99 per year at the moment. Uh, so you'll need to get access to their member center before you can uh, actually do all of this. Uh, but once you've done that, uh, you can just log in uh, through the developer.apple.com uh, website. I'll just leave that there for now and jump into open SSL and this is the other thing you're going to need to do as well uh, to do this from a Windows computer uh, if you do have a Mac and you're running Xcode there's a probably a much easier way to do this um, you'll probably want to Google uh, how to go about creating uh, the certificates uh, on a Mac uh, but for Windows you will need to download open SSL uh, just follow the instructions on this website to get it up and running but once you do have that installed, uh, go ahead and run it as an administrator. It's important that you run the program as an administrator, otherwise some of the commands won't work. Uh, so once you've got your command prompt up, we're just going to change the directory into the uh, OpenSSL that we just installed. So for me, that's OpenSSL Win64. Uh, Maybe different for you, depending on what uh, version you had to install uh, for your system and I'm just going to change it to the bin directory in there. So what we need to do first is create a private key. So we can do that by running open SSL gen RSA out and then the name of uh, the private key. So I'll just call this uh, example key dot key and then we want to put 2048. Okay, so uh, once that's generated, that'll create the file inside of the bin folder. I'll just pull that up now uh, so you can take a look at that. Uh, so you can see here, I've got that example key.key .key sitting in there now. So what we want to do after that is to use that key to generate a certificate signing request. And to do that, we're just going to run another command, and that is open SSL uh, rec new the key um, the key name that we just created and slipping uh, my mind already it's a example key so key I'm probably going to enter in something wrong here as I'm typing it all out um, as I'm being recorded uh, out and then the name of the certificate sign your request so I'm just going to call it uh, example CSR uh, dot cert signing request and then subject and then you just enter in some details about you here so uh, we can put in our email address so just make that uh, you at um, whatever.com and cn equals your name so I'll put Josh Maroney and uh, C equals um, AU, so that's the country code. So for me, I'm from Australia, so I put AU there. So we'll run that. Hopefully it all works. Uh, it appears so, so I'll just check in here again. That, that actually generated, and you can see it here now. Uh, so now that that has generated, I'm going to go into the Apple Developer Portal and just go under the uh, Certificates section. So click on certificates and now we want to uh, create a iOS development certificate. So we're going to push the plus button here to add one. Uh, choose iOS app development. Uh, if you do want to create a production application, actually submit it through uh, the app store. You follow the same steps but you will choose a, a distribution uh, certificate instead of a development one click continue and now it's going to ask us for that CSR file uh, that we just created so I'm going to upload that now okay now I've got that uploaded I can just click generate 
wait for it to load okay now that's ready I can just download that and I'm going to save that into uh, the same directory as the others in that uh, bin folder in OpenSSL. Uh, we don't have to save it in there, but it saves having to type out the exact path uh, as uh, you're running the command. So I find it's a lot easier to just save it in that folder straight away. Okay, so I've just saved that as iOS underscore development in the same folder again. Uh, once you finish downloading that, now we're going to uh, create an identifier for our application. So you can see I've got a lot of junk in here right now, but we want to add a new one. And so we'll call this uh, example app, I guess. Obviously call it whatever your application is actually called. Um, have a unique ID for it. So I'll call that com.joshmaroney.example app. <clears throat> obviously you're going to want to uh, activate whatever services uh, you need here. Oops, I just noticed you can't actually um, have an underscore for that. You can only use um, certain characters for the name. So now that I've um, fixed that, I should be able to click continue. Uh, have a look over everything, make sure it's correct, then click submit. Okay, now we've finished uh, regis uh, registering that app ID. Uh, after you've registered the app ID, now we're going to come into devices and these are the devices of anyone including yourself that you want to be able to uh, use uh, the application. Uh, if you try and install it on a phone that isn't listed here, then uh, it won't work. So you're just going to click the add button here, uh, name the device and then it's going to ask for the UDID. So that's the unique identifier. Uh, for the device. Uh, to find that you can just plug your phone in, uh, open up iTunes and then under the uh, device information section you'll see uh, a little section called serial and it'll have a short serial number. Uh, that's not the number that you need to put in here uh, but if you click on that it'll change into UDID which is a I think a 40 character long uh, string so it's a bit of a pain to type out but just put that in here uh, register the device and then you'll be able to install it on that device later. And finally we're going to come down to uh, provisioning profile so we want to uh, create a development provisioning profile uh, as I mentioned before if you are creating a distribution one obviously um, create a distribution one now. So click on add, uh, select iOS app development, continue and now we're going to choose that uh, ID that we just created. So I've got example app here. Click continue. Uh, choose the certificate that you just created and click continue. And then select everyone that you want to be able to install um, that application for. So I'll just select um, all. Uh, give it a name. I'll call it uh, example development. And once that's ready, again, download it and uh, save it in that same uh, OpenSSL bin directory. Okay, so I have that uh, downloaded now. Uh, it's called uh, example underscore development dot mobile provision. Uh, so now that that's ready, we're going to jump back into OpenSSL again and run a couple more commands to create the P12 file. Uh, so we're going to run OpenSSL x509. Uh, in and then the name of the certificate which was uh, ios underscore development dot cer inform der out and then whatever this file is going to be called so i'll call it example underscore pem uh, dot pem and out form uh, pem uh, I've made a mistake there somewhere. Let me see if I can spot it. Okay, I just picked up what that error was. I had an extra hyphen here, which I shouldn't have done. Uh, I don't remember these commands off by heart, um, by the way. I do have these up uh, on a list that I just pull up whenever I need to do this. Uh, maybe eventually I will be able to remember it all, but obviously that's not really important as long as we can actually create it. 
So let me just check that that created now. <clears throat> and again, I'll pull this over and you can see it there, the example uh, uh, permission file we just created. And there's one final step <clears throat> we need to do, and that's to obviously create uh, the P12 file using the file we just created. So now we're gonna run OpenSSL PKCS12 export in key, and we're going to use the name of the key uh, that we developed at the start, which was example key dot key. Um, in, and then the name of the uh, permission file we just created, so example underscore pem dot pem, and then out, uh, then the name of the p12 file. So let's call it just example p12 dot p12. And now it's going to ask us for uh, an export password. Um, so I'll just use um, something like really silly like test for now. Obviously, make this a stronger password. Uh, confirm that. And make sure you uh, obviously remember that password. Keep track of it somewhere. Uh, but once you do that, the P12 file should be created over here. And then you can use that uh, to build your application and actually get it on your device. So I hope this uh, tutorial uh, was helpful. As always, if there's any, have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the video or on the blog, and I'll try and get back to you. Thanks for watching.